Hi, Martin here. Today I want to show you guys this storage wall I built out of these tilt bins I got from Harbor Freight. They're $2 each. They're interlocking. You know, you can go vertical with them, horizontal. Then they have a removable drawer like that. See? And they come with a great place for a label right there. And what I really like about them is that they're clear. You can see where all your stuff is. And it also keeps everything dust free out of the elements. I want to show you how I built this storage wall and hopefully that can help you out in your garage. All right, let's get started. All right, what I got myself here is a two foot by four foot piece of wafer board or chipboard, whatever you want to call it. I went ahead and painted it white to match my garage wall because I don't actually have enough cubes at the time to cover the entire board. Now what I did is I laid them out. I've got six wide and 12 high. Works out pretty nice on a two by four foot board. Uh, um, it just barely hangs over on each end. And then the height, if you bring this right to the bottom, at the very top, you got less than an eighth of an inch hanging over on the very top. So it fits very well. I got them all interlocked. So now I know how this needs to lay out on here. And I can start securing these to the board. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and remove these drawers. Now I'm using these lath screws as they call them, half inch long, and that should be just the right length not to pierce the back side of the board. Got a uh, DeWalt impact with a nice long extension on here. After securing the first row, I'll move these other six down and interlock them into this section right here. There we go. Then taking these two here, move them over and get them slid into place. Now I'll go ahead and secure each drawer down. I'm just using one screw per drawer. It's really more than enough. You could go ahead and put two screws in each one if you like. Go ahead and remove the rest of the drawers and get them all secured down. All right, once you got all those uh, secured to the board. Now what I've done is I went ahead and took a stud finder, found the studs on the wall. Unfortunately, where I want to position this on the wall, I'm only going to be able to catch one stud. Um, it's going to be about 10 inches in. So what I've done is I've made some marks on here. I'm going to pre-drill some holes through the wood and through these drawers right where on the 10 inch line. And then using this fairly heavy, you know, it's about a quarter inch diameter lag bolt that are like three inches long. That might even be a little bit longer. Here to that stud, that should be more than enough to handle, well, whatever weight I'm going to put in here. Cause you now when drilling a hole through the tilt bin, make sure you put the hole close to the top. That way it won't interfere with the drawer. Okay, I'm going to probably run down to Harbor Freight and see if they got some more of these. They usually generally carry like 20, 24 in stock, uh, provided no one else has bought any. Uh, I've gone in there twice so far and bought them clean out. And we'll, we'll get the rest of these put in. All right, be right back. All right, it's the following Friday. Go down to Harbor Freight. 
They didn't have them set out yet, so I asked about them. And uh, they actually come boxed in cases of 12, and that's exactly what I needed. So I got another 12. We'll get those put up. All right, I interlocked six of them together. I'm just gonna see if I can slide all six of them on here at once. There we go. Perfect. Now I'll have to mark and drill a hole in this third one here for the bolt that is securing this panel to the uh, stud behind the wall. Okay, I got some marks made. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna probably eyeball it. There, I think. Ooh, I think I got that baby right on. The adhesive on these pulls off really clean almost every time. Now I'll just put some screws in each one of these drawers, you know, one in each drawer, like I've been doing. And we got this thing, all 72 containers. And as you can see, I have been filling them up with a variety of stuff. But I'll get them full, then I'll probably be making another one. drawers back in. All right, well there we have it. I think it turned out really nice. I got 72 storage containers. Everything's, uh, you know, organized, dust free, you know, keep it out of the elements, especially like I got fuel injectors and stuff in here. I don't want to get dusty. And I don't have to run to the hardware store all the time and find stuff because I keep everything. Well, if you like this uh, video, I'd sure appreciate the thumbs up. That helps out the channel immensely. And if you want to help me out financially, if you check down in the description, there are Amazon links down there. Click on one of those links and you can do all your Amazon shopping through there. And then the channel earns a small commission. I sure appreciate it. And if you've never subscribed to me before, please hit that subscribe button right down there and a little bell symbol right next to it. And that way you get notifications of my upcoming videos as I post them. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.